Problem number two asks us to write this equation in standard form and then sketch the graph. So our first step would be to move this negative 4 over to the other side. So we're left with x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y equals 4. Our next step would be to group the x's together and then the y's together. So we're at x squared minus 2x. Leave a space and we have y squared minus 4y equals 4. So we have to complete the square for each of these, for the negative 2 and the negative 4. So for the negative 2, we're going to complete the square. We're going to take negative 2 and divide it by 2, and that's going to equal negative 1. We're going to square the negative 1, and that's going to give us positive 1. So we're going to take our positive 1, add it here, and when you do the one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. So now we're going to take our negative 4, and we're going to complete the square of negative 4. So we have negative 4, we're going to divide it by 2, and that equals negative 2. And then we're going to square negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Now we're going to take this positive 4, and we're going to add it to both sides of the equation. Now we're going to refactor each of these terms. So factors are 1 that make 2 which is 1 simply, and we want them to be negative 2, so we're going to put them both negative, plus factors of 4 that make 4 are going to be 2, and we want it to be negative, so it's going to be y minus 2, y minus 2, and then we're just going to take these and add them up, 4 plus 1 plus 4 gives us 9. Now another way to rewrite this is x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 9. So the equation of the circle in standard format for this is simply this equation here. Now from this equation, we can determine that our center is equal to the opposite of negative 1, which is positive 1, and the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2. So our center would be at 1, 2, and then our radius is you just take the square root of 9, which would give us 3. So now since we have our center at 1, 2, and our radius at 3, we can now sketch the graph. Our center's at 1, 2, 1. 1, 2 is right there. And now from this point, we're going to go up 3, to the right 3, down three, one, two, three, and then to the left three, one, two, three. Then we just connect the outer dots, we have our circle. So our equation is this, and this would be our graph.